it's me, Apple, back here with Tales of Zestiria, where we have two uh, things I wanted to get done before we go back and say hi to Maven again. One of them is look for an elephant in this place. That Not that one. Elephant must be a hellion. Yes. Most likely. Chances are. I mean, I hope it's not just a normal big ass elephant because we will not have much way to deal with that that is non-lethal. But just before we do go that, I just want to have a cursory look around Trizold Cave. They, there's no, they didn't, that whole round thing didn't actually add a quest marker to my quest markers. So I'm not expecting to find anything. I have not found anything. I don't, I don't think there's anything in here. That's brilliant. Also, what did he say like three seconds before that? Feeling the pump, bruh? <laughs> That's what I heard. All right, I'm gonna split. They'll mark it more clearly if there's something really interesting. Probably. I spent like 10 minutes looking anyway. That's a stupid waste of time. Anyway, uh, so the elephant is somewhere around here. She said we have to turn Zaf got more upside down looking for it, which makes it sound like it won't exactly be like right out in the open. But I guess we haven't looked yet, so let's do that now. Matter of fact, I'm actually gonna head down to the plains first, because that's sort of where I expect it to be if it's stacking merchant caravans and stuff. It sounded like those merchants who went to the Plitzerback wetlands uh, were also having trouble, so it makes if it sounds like it wouldn't be up here. I mean, I guess it can move around, but ooh, it's a gold chest over here. Seen a lot of elephants, not seen any that look particularly spe spe special. That's bar boots. And again, her use of the door, she said to flush it out, which makes it sound like it will be not exactly in the open, but I just want to make rule it out being in the open. Ooh, there's a chest over there too. Top bat. Ooh, it's cosmetic. Headwear of a smart gentleman, doves not included. Oh, <laughs> cool. So like, in theory, uh, it goes around his belt, but God, I would have loved this for Dessel, damn it. <laughs> All right, this is officially his new set. <laughs> Hang on, I can make it a little straighter than that. There we go, just there's absolutely no way it could actually stand up, but like, plausible deniability. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. All right, great, I've wasted now uh, 16 minutes, 10 of those looking in that cave, and then six of them messing with that hat. <laughs> Let's go find an elephant, finally, please. Me and my supernatural ability to waste time. Well, you know what? If you spent it sorting out a top hat, it wasn't time wasted, was it? A yoink? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, well, there's a, oh, oh my god. I don't remember this little oasis being here, but that would be a perfectly reasonable place for a giant elephant to be. Don't know how I didn't stumble upon that before. Oasis of the Wilds! Anything to say? Oh, oasis. Oh, Asis. Oasis. The very font of life. <laughs> Goddess of the barren wastes. Sucker to the parched. Surprise poetry reading? Now, now, Mickey, my boy. Surely, as a water surf, you understand how precious <laughs> water is in a place. I feel like I recognize his voice and I can't no, place it. Sure. It's frustrating yes, me, but whatever. But we'll see when the credits come around, Lila, won't we? I know you're just aching to plunge that smoldering fire seraph skin into the cool crystal depth. All right, this is getting to be a bit much. <laughs> Do enjoy your nice clean spring. Then, Edna, come. It is only fitting that a seraph of the earth should join you. You are swimming alone, my friend. No one is joining you. No wonder you're a wind seraph. Your situational awareness blows. Nice. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yes, I think I will. That that was mean, but but damn, did Ed never just utterly cleave that man in two. That was amazing. Never was there a more appropriate use of the term roasted. Holy crap. Well, I guess. I mean, it would be more appropriate if it weren't a- if he were a fire seraph or if one of them were, but whatever. Uh, Red Verpina, thank you! Ding. Oh, somehow she's fallen behind in, uh, health to Miklio. Oh, he's levels above, right. He's gonna go save over here and then take on this elephant. <sighs> How the heck did I miss this massive oasis in the middle of this place? Somehow thought I'd be a, been a bit more thorough than that, but no, go away. I guess it would have been easier to be thorough if I had had wind stepping on, but I want the other talent sounds building. Oh, hi, elephants. You weren't here before. They're ignoring me. Ow! Okay, they stopped ignoring me. Oh, no, the, the like and throw one in between their legs to hit me. This time doesn't count. Accurate. All right, time to take on a giant elephant this time. Uh, everyone is in pain. We need snackles. I want my snacks. Where, which one do we have a lot of? Um, ooh, raspberry mousse. That's the burning capability one that saved us. Why not? Let's eat this peach jelly slows them down one. Oh, I should have waited till I was actually close to the enemy because probably, probably got to run to another like throat before this. Maybe flush it out was supposed to be a, uh, a hint that it's hanging around this little uh, pond thing, but probably not. Probably that was supposed to be, I was supposed to have obviously seen it because this is like the first place I would go in a desert. You are levitating. Yeah! High fant! What's its uh, stats like? Resistant to fire, earth, water. So wind and physical are the way to go. Beast and dragon, though. That's cool. Hi, Fant. The most powerful alien around. Wow, sorry. 
I mixed up the word elephant and hellion somehow. Hi, Fant, the most powerful elephant hellion around. One hit's enough to put you in the hospital. Be very, very careful not to screw up. Thank you. You got that, everyone? No matter what, do not get hit. Okay, I will try. Guys! He gave one piece of advice. What a nice image. Thanks. Let me just throw out a mystic here. I probably should have looked for something that was a power hit, but let's see what we're working with here. Okay, that's that did a lot of damage. Beast and dragon. Anything we got here? Well, drag, uh, dragon blitz does dragons. <laughs> so I can go, oh, yeah! Oh, or not. Oh, God. Okay, out. Yeah! Why did that do it? What? It's wind and dragons. How is this not cool? Yarg! Ah! And it keeps not working. <laughs> Why is it not a power hit? Whatever. Uh, fine. I see how it is. Oh, it's stunned. Ah, damn it. I was so big that I couldn't even see that it was stunned except by the amount of damage we were doing. Actually, perhaps Mikleo's Armatus is a little better for this. Actually, Reign of Fire is beasts, uh, and that's the little projectile one, so I wouldn't mind do using Lila for this if she weren't, you know, quite as dead. Uh, I could probably just run, though. It's pretty slow and big and stupid. Let me throw my dragon fangs at it. Which one is Dragon Fang? Or Demon Fang? Yeah, there we go. Oh, those don't go very far at all. Uh, sorry, Edna. Actually, maybe I'll just armatize to bring you over here, because this is not good for you. Just waiting for Lila to get back up, because I think that's probably the best way to go about this. Oh, no, I wanted... Okay, well, uh, okay, you guys are, are, are armatized now. That works for me, I guess. And there it goes. <laughs> yeah, all, all of a sudden we're allowed to retry these. This is so weird. All right, I'm armatizing immediately. Okay, finally, this, this uh, power hit is actually power hitting. And it's a ranged one, which is nice, so I can I can just run away like a coward. And start power hits for my friends. And it interrupts them well enough. Oh god, why'd that hit from there? What kind of hitbox? It doesn't seem to be able to hit from behind, but it can turn around really fast, unfortunately. Okay, but I can get a combo. Why did that out combo? What the heck was that? I insist that you life bottle Lila at this second. Thank you. Well, that wasn't a good idea. Okay, this time, I'm gonna back up before armatizing so that they don't immediately kill us. This elephant is not joking around, though. I got we're much slower together than I am uh, as just Rose, unfortunately. Take 6,000 damage. This might be bad. Ah, oh, God, it's just so hard to combo anything. It's like, it like recovers really quickly or something. It just doesn't work. I don't understand why. Ah, oh, God. Ow. Damn it. It's tricky because uh, it either has the one that goes really far in front of it or all the way around it. So you can't just be like, I'll back up a lot or I'll go around the other side of it. Neither of those strategies are probably. You have to kind of go diagonally away from it when it starts attacking you, that is. All right, I'll miss a cure with the power hit. It probably won't do too much, but okay, that's a fair bit. I'll take that right to the bank, whatever bank that may be. Okay, so that one, if I had gone right around it to try and avoid the water thing, it would have hit me with that. It's, it's actually, for, for such a big and slow enemy, its attack patterns are th among the trickier. But I think this Rain of Fire tactic is good. I don't know why you, you two get so much damage. I guess just because Dezel has decent, or sorry, Zavid has decent uh, attack balancings. Oh, you know what I should be having on for this is Ebonus. For sure. Seems like a no-brainer, considering how much damage this thing is doing. And since that's on Saray, that's on- Oh, any Armatus that those two use, I thought I could get through that! Wow! That's not fun. Well, they died. That's cool and fun. Uh, this isn't a great battlefield for this either, because there's this big tree blocking a lot of the places we can walk. Oh, no, no, don't change your mind. Go to me now! <laughs> oh, thank God, Phoenix. <laughs> Owie. Things are fine. Things are quick. Okay. Things are not gonna go bad today. Things are cool. Things are super fun. Hey, Mikleo, let's armatize. We. Oh, I should have done it from so close. What am I doing? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, Sans Arrow's Beast. Also, what am I doing with uh, Random Fire? It's very silly. No, 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 no. Oh, I tried to dodge it. Didn't go well. I'm gonna try and pull an elixir when I get away from this next attack. I'm gonna lure one out. Attack me! Oh, and backdash! Okay, and uh, the elixir! Okay, there we go. That gets me, uh, buys me a bit of time for my friends to get up. Bring, Please bring Zaray up! No, 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 don't hit! That's my friend! You're trying to attack violently there. Oh, this is a lot of damage. Oh my god, this little combo here. Just, just forward, forward, forward. Because it starts with the beast, and then he has the whole binding vortex too. And with Rose's amazing attack. 
Yes, this is the thing. Sorry, uh, Edna, you're about to go down. I should have done better at making that not happen, but I didn't. Okay, this is this is what should have been my strap from the beginning. Anytime it goes after my friends, I can just absolutely throw all this stuff out on it while they're uh, kneeling with spells as well. So the second I have a friend up, this becomes even like a thousand times easier. Okay, should have been doing this way from the start. From what I was thinking. Thanks, that Lila. <laughs> oh, that hurt. No, 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 no. This is bad. Oh, elixir. Ugh, thank God, I had one of those charged. I guess not many of his attacks are count as physical, because there's a lot of earth and water in there, probably. Were I to guess. Ah, oh, God, it's she won't shoot up <laughs> the hill. Now, I can basically interrupt everything with Saints Arrow. Or not everything, exactly, you know, but whatever. Sorry, Lila, I didn't interrupt anything. I tried. I tried my best. I did what I could. That's right, lure you over here, and then you get bombed by that, and then I hit with this, and then we do a bit of this, and this, and that, and then it's thousands of damage. Good. And this and that, and then this. Oh, I didn't do beast. What am I doing? Or the, 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 the Saint's Arrow. Yeah, and then Burning Strike on top of that. Oh, yeah. Now you two are both up. Yeah. No, don't kill them. I need them very much alive for various purposes. Oh, yeah, this is the stuff. Let's get it. Nobody die in these last two seconds, please. Oh, yikes. So frequently is just about getting the getting them dang old. Getting them dang old. Power hits. Finding the ones that do power hit. 14,000 gold! Was anyone dead for that? Everyone was alive! Heck yeah. Anomalous Orb, level up for Edna. You got a title, Sweet Tooth. Wow. Oh! You look like a seraph who could be a lord of the land. Careless of me. Turning into a That's alright. It happens to a few of us. And almost rose. Oh, I must apologize for troubling you, Shepard. My name is Alkin. Well, Matt Alkin! You must tell me, what did I go and do? Uh, you kicked me in the face, you sprayed water in my face, you spun around and... But more importantly that, I wasn't just thinking of myself, obviously. Is there no guardian seraph? No! Not right now. But the people continue to practice their faith, even in such hard times. Do you see where you come in here? <laughs> It was the work of a Hellion. Don't blame yourself. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Dude, that's not how it works. <laughs> it's not your fault. At those humans for how easily they would become tainted with malevolence. And then I myself became a Hellion. And in my rage, I destroyed my very own followers. I'm ashamed of myself. Right, well, nothing to do but move on and be a good hey, lord of the land so that we can move fast. Over spilt milk. What matters is what you do from now on, right? Yes. Hmm. I'd wager we are on the wavelength. Considerable amount of power, Alkin. Power to like restore chests and make a uh, shepherd run fast. We'll say. Vessel ourselves. Uh, hmm. I may be able to use the tower uh -huh. of Logren as my vessel, assuming devout and pure humans have been living there. Seems they have. Does that mean we get to go up there now? Please let me ask of you. So that I may atone. Sure, you ask, you. ask, Don't worry. ask away. We're sure, it'll all be worth it. Reasonably sure, anyway. Yes. Heck yeah! But uh, that was a blessing for Lord. Yeah. Who? and tell them that their elephant problems are no more. Well, except for these ones, obviously. This will make things easier on them, right? Should do. I hope so. Wasn't that a that was a a a, 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 a an iris gem though, wasn't it? I thought it was. Logren's commerce should be back to normal in no time. Well, at least we got to the bottom of everything. We should head back to Logren to just to check on everyone. Yes, we absolutely should. So, are the Sparrow Feathers doing okay? They're doing great. They've been helping with uncovering some information for me. Oh, that reminds me, Agil has some new intel for us. He's in Logren right now. Do you think we can go meet him and find out what's what? Any news about who slaughtered those kids? That kind of. <laughs> no, guess not. Great. So to Logren anyway is the is the thing. Yes, Lord of the Land back. I'm gonna get hit the first save point I can and just dump a bunch of gear onto this. That's just ridiculous that I missed that before, though. <laughs> that entire oasis bit. We've got 26 uh, AP free right now, is that right? Do I read that correctly? About this whole Mystic Arts thing, I feel like a Mystic Art, even if we cut the damage in half at this on this difficulty and everything, they're gonna kill us anyway. <laughs> so I don't really feel like spending mana on that spirit body. Uh, this is kind of cool, but... How often am I going to use it? I'm not sure. I guess I could turn on 30 hit bonus. We don't frequently get combos that high, especially not while armatized, but... Till I get enough to get something better. Ooh, I'm I mean, the thing is, I'm just not going to remember. 
that that's that's what that does. And so I'm gonna get have combos like 60 hits and just be like, oh, dude, I don't think I actually need to do what I'm doing right now. Verbena, 300. Look at you. I'm gonna be like, oh, I still need four blast gauge, right? But if I even if if I do think that way, then when it actually use it, it'll only cost two, and I'll be like, oh, cool. <laughs> yes, Alkin, level two currently, right? Let's turn that on and this on. Time to offer. All right, brought you up to level four that way. Um. Sure, we'll turn this on until a better one comes up. And it's great that we got that, because now we can do a bit of a grindy in between this and the next uh, episode if we so desired. I don't at the moment, because now I'm all eager to get all these quests done now that they're all showing up. Let's get there to Logren. See about uh, following up on these loose ends about how things are doing now, Logren wise <laughs> and commerce wise, and also see what uh, Intel Agil has for us. So, first of all, Hello. In a remote village like this, you can't do much about the prices. Mind you, it'd be a different story if Logren actually had something of value to trade with the rest of the land. Huh. Don't they have topaz? Isn't that their thing they hold do? Prices have fallen somewhat, but nowhere near enough. I think I better give up, give up any thoughts of sourcing my supplies here. Oh, things are not immediately fixed. How tragic. It looks like the rampage of beast attacks have dropped off, but prices still haven't gone down much. Market prices fluctuate even here in the Borderlands. Welcome. Getting used to our peculiar little town. This used to be a giant tower, they say, long, long ago. Hmm. I will carry a button. Skit! I think I'm feeling a bit tired today. I know! Yeah. I'm always feeling no tired. Of things we need to do. Yeah. Now we have the Earth and Historia and the Storyteller to deal with as well. Well, we're actually clipping along on those Holy fronts. Is full of secrets and mystery. You too many and secrets for my know. liking. It's really frustrating being pushed around and intentionally kept in the dark like Oh, this. you're speaking right from my heart here. Isn't that kind of natural? What do you mean? Ain't nothing but secrets in the world of merchants. I guess. The market, guild rules, networks, conveyance routes, all kinds of things you can't say in bid riggings. Every day is a battle against secrecy. I see. Yeah, you're right. In our case, that secrecy is all over Maltellus and his past history. Of course it is. I am a shepherd after all. And you like it, don't you? Of course. <laughs> He's not kidding. Well, as long as you understand. Okay, let's keep up the never-ending battle against secrecy. It doesn't mean that I like it in all aspects of the story necessarily, but I understand your point about it occasionally being necessary to battle against some secrecy, Rose. <laughs> that did not go over my head. Maybe you're the one who's going to uphold the blessing? Hmm. So is is uh, Alkin really hanging out in the tower right about now? In which case, are we allowed to go in? It's locked firmly shut. Huh. Oh no, he's hanging out down there. And what's this about getting attacked by an elephant? <laughs> don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Still how ignominious. Ign ignominious, what the hell is that word? <laughs> a proud serve becoming an elephant, Hellion. Please tell me at least my nose looked a little dragonish. Uh, there was a lot of dragon hood going on, don't you worry about that. Alright, Agil, how's it going? What kind of intel have you, have you scrounged up? Find anything interesting? Sure did, boss. Remember how you were looking for Iris? Games? How could I forget? Earth and Historia, <laughs> did you find one? We did. But we were a little late. Someone else got to it first, you mean? Someone besides Saray wants them? Well, they're pretty gems. Is a priest who's studying archaeology. Archaeology? Is he studying ruins? <laughs> I'm not really sure, but he has published several books. Oh man, that's awesome! <laughs> I'm interested in his writing. Oh, uh, let's maybe try and <laughs> worry about where this and guy is. This researcher. As far as I know, he went to the Litwerg Bearwoods near Plitzerback Wetland for some research. Oh, this That's could easily be where that big monster is. Though I do understand how he feels. I'm a bit worried. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, no, we better go and uh, follow up on that, hey? Thanks, Agil. Can I always manage on you to give us a new task? <laughs> that sounded bad, but you know what I meant. If you're following that researcher into Litwerg Woods, watch yourself, okay? It's not exactly the safest patch of land on the continent. You'll need to venture quite a ways south through a wetland with treacherous footing. We've been. I'm not going to tell you not to go, but look, just be careful, all right? We will be so dang careful. Sounds like they got rid of that rampaging beast. Oh, we did. You have no idea how much we got rid of it. And on the first try, too. Logren after the malevolence. Hmm. I guess it's difficult to decrease the price of something when it's already gotten so high. Yeah, it ain't happening in a day anyway. The merchants are rather merciless on the pricing. But it's not like they've been affected by malevolence. This is just how they are. <laughs> so I guess even returning the blessing won't solve everything. No. A blessing alone can't change the hearts of people. It's all so complicated. At least the people of Logren haven't given up on restoring their village. I mean, this was either a necessary way, step the either way. Get involved. Yeah, this is where the merchants come in. Right. Well, speed it up a bit, Rose. <laughs> no. 
You're doing you can, what you can, I understand that. Uh, let's go to those Litvurg Woods. They only, we only have one travel point, but we've made shortcuts back to everywhere. I'm just gonna guess that where that big boss arena was is where this uh, research has gone and gotten themselves into a bad situation. <laughs> Who's ready for a fight? It's like an, a light golem. Well, well. Here comes trouble. No joke! Oh, it's sort of yellow, actually. Maybe more like a bigger thing. Titan! Resists fire, uh, earth, and wind, but not physical or water. Okay. And it is armored. Does one of the fire armatus ones do armored? Like one of the earlier ones? Oh no, it's molten wall. Maybe better than, than trying to get uh, to Azure Assault with the water one, even if it doesn't resist water. I think I'm gonna go with fire. Actually, unless. Oh, Rampaging Giant! Maybe I'll go Edna. Yes. Were you hoping to explain? <laughs> I totally didn't pick up on why why they said self-explanatorily there. <laughs> oh, Lila, I'm sorry. Okay, I can start power hits easily. Just but actually, whether that actually makes a combo is an entirely different story. This thing doesn't stack up too easy. Okay, it sometimes does. And they got molten water. Oh, and this is this, and I can go with a bit of a from that. Nice. Okay, might not be that bad. It seems to only be able to attack in front of it as well. And so as long as I don't, if I don't run in front of it like that, it should be fine. Oh, I realize I've, I've still got you on Ebonus, which is uh, maybe uh, lowering your combat prowess a touch. But <laughs> oh god, it turned around really fast without even an animation. That was scary. I'm gonna swap you to Zavid because he's got the reflex vest on. No, guys, don't run arm It it wouldn't let me pause to go back to them. It's so annoying. It's not fair. All right, I thankfully I dodged that and got uh, blast immediately. All right, the damage output this thing has is not crazy. They've got a different uh, different Armatus name. Oh, I tried to side dodge that and it did not go well for me at all. <laughs> one of us has that like one that gives you health as you get combo hits, which dodges include. Which includes combo do uh, dodges, whatever. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Makes things easier for me. Maybe I'll be able to hang on to this blast gauge. Yeah! Wonk! Wonk! Oh, well, that was a new thing you were about to do that I didn't like the look of at all. We're putting on the hits though here, though. Ah, oh, god, that has a little uh, shockwave. Eee, what is this? Oh, god. All right, I'm putting Fairy Circle on here. <laughs> Carried on a power hit, which was nice. Thank god that even hits behind it, which I guess that, that's, that's fair enough. It makes sense. That hitbox. I feel like that's that's explanatory, self-explanatory enough. I don't feel like I'm confused about that one, even if it's stunning, uh, surprising me. Ah, oh, I just wasted my thing on the friggin' uh, fairy circle. I could have finished it right there, probably, if I had done that right. Ah, reflect again. No! Ow! All right, Lila, let's do this. Or maybe I'll just do this by myself. Do I have anything that does armored? Oh, uh, Lightning Tiger Blade is armored. Ah, yes, okay. My favorite one anyway. Yeah! Didn't help very much. Whatever. <laughs> Oh god, it hit me from there? Oh, I didn't know the big two-hander would do that. Okay, take two. And then let's do this. You gotta actually hit confirm it. You gotta, like, punch it over and over until you actually find one where it does it starts a combo before you carry on with the other hits. Otherwise, you're gonna just put yourself in a vulnerable position. They're like, there. I should have, uh, well, I should have done it faster, but... <laughs> okay, that, that, so that actually started a combo, so I should have capitalized on it there, and I didn't. Uh, but that's the kind of thing you gotta wait for. Okay. Thanks, Lila. You're absolutely stacking on them hits there. Oh, I thought I would be far enough away there. I'm fishing for a Mystic here, which is maybe not the wisest thing to do because I'm low on health. Uh, but I'm gonna do it. No, I didn't die. That was the wrong one to do. Okay, side dodge. That big swing is just easy to side dodge. This one, I'm assuming, is a back dodge, but I can't get it right. Ah, I don't know what to do about that one. I'm actually just gonna Blast Gage charge this little... Uh, my mystic here. Well, that wasn't good of you guys. Okay, uh, that didn't start a combo. Back. Oh, gosh. Hopefully one of them picks up now. Uh, if I screw this up, I'm going to lose my mystic, which I've been spending all this time charging. But okay. Uh... Come on. Start a combo here. Ah, why didn't it? Come on. It's just walking around. Why does it have armor? <laughs> nope, not that. Ah. Oh, God. Come on. Just one. Why won't he get a combo at all now that I've got full blast? Come on! Why? God, that just... Why not? Thank you. Okay, there we go. And I'll just do that and then 
Oh, Mystic now with a power hit. Finally. Now I can actually use Blast Gauge to heal. Oh god, it doesn't do anything. What the hell? That was so little damage. Okay, that actually, this this hit from range here and the, with the final hit of Azure Assault does do a fair bit of damage and starts a power hit. So maybe this is the strat, even though those guys are about to die. Ooh, I stunned them. And I'll do a bit of the... Oh, no, 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 why didn't it... Oh, I, I was holding our straight trigger and it didn't... Whatever. Bang. Okay. As usual, uh, Mikleos Armatus is usually the safest one to do in a, in a one where it's a new enemy and you're kind of not sure what you're doing. Because there is a lot of uh, type variety in, in here. We've got, like, Beasts, Therian, Undead, Winged, Armored Fiends. So at some point, you can probably, from range, do something good. As long as you're stacking on these arrow hits. Okay, I'm actually gonna get this time. Bang! Thank you! Nicely done, us. Okay, here we go. Keep this combo going, actually. Don't know why it's not counting combo hits for some reason. But that works as well. Okay. <laughs> cool. It would have been cooler if it did count combo hits, because then we could have done a Mystic for two uh, Blast Gauge. Not that we had that, I guess. That works for me anyway. Anomalous Anom 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 Orb. <laughs> So where's the researcher? This place is a lot more dangerous than I thought. We need to find him. Quick. Oh, that wasn't him? What was that? Are you that archaeologist? You... You just cut through those walking stones! Oh, you could see those? It's not like that. It's called a hell... S stay away from me, you monster! Wait, wait, don't uh, go die! <laughs> what's the deal? We came to save you! Yeah, okay, well, Rose... The the iris gem. True. I mean... Isn't just about that. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Well, at least he's okay. Is he though? Yeah, I guess. But still. Look, there's the Earth in Historia. Yeah, I know, but this man just like is still in this scary, scary forest. Looks like we got a souvenir out of it. All right. Is this really okay? Of course. It does seem like stealing, doesn't it? <laughs> well, Rose said it's okay, so Rose, being the <laughs> pinnacle of upstanding citizenry, is probably fine, and completely right about what she's talking about. Ooh, we're down to one page. They've taken away that. Well, I hope Logan gets back to normal ones. That's good. Uh, let's pick this up. Get going. Green, uh, uh Iris Gem. I'm not gonna read that. The general realizes that at last that his humanity is lost. With a roar, held off Lord of Calamity is born. Okay, yeah. Let's, uh, we've got a pretty clear chronology of this now, haven't we? Don't, we don't understand why, but we understand the what. What are you looking at there, buddy? Oh, they're eating peeps. Cool. Uh, maybe we did miss something in the middle where he suddenly got an army of little goblin things. I'm not sure what that little traveling merchant image was supposed to show. Was that the people he just asked, maybe? Oh, these, these are those. These are they. Black. And that's how I came the BBEG, everybody. <laughs> Tune in next week. Heldolf, the Lord of Calamity was born. Right. He was a human being once, just like us. Unbelievable as it is. Well, we did know that already, yes. but it's to actually he see may it, have I guess. Been a cold military leader, but he had genuine love for his family. How could someone like him turn into the Lord of Calamity? Well, he did lose his family. Yes, the question of why remains. It felt like more than anything that happened to him, the transformation was born of his own resolve. Oh, I expect so, could but like, d it's probably d just bad stuff happened to enhance that resolve. But I can tell this much. Heldolf finally gave up. He couldn't fight back any longer. I guess there's no saying someone couldn't come back from a state like that, but... It won't be easy. I think we found most of the Earth in Historia. And the pieces of this puzzle are really starting to come together. I think it's time we gave Maven a visit. I think the same next time on Tales of Historia, because regrettably we're all the time. Sorry I wasted so much time in that cave and putting a top hat on Zavid. <laughs> but we got that elephant, and we got that uh, Titan, and we got that Iris Gem. The Earth in Historia completed. Oh, really? All the way completed? This is all of the Earth in Historia, but we're still missing something crucial. How did Heldolf end up that way? Well, we know all too well what hardship he's been through. Yeah, but why that hardship? Or is it really just a coincidence? Sympathizing with him. He's been sympathizing with him this whole time. I can't even tell. 
Sheesh, Lila, this is cruel. I liked it better when he was a faceless bad guy. You can chop those to bits guilt-free. But you I'm shouldn't, because you would but really, though, lose, <laughs> probably. How are we supposed to figure out the right thing to do? Well, is Lila even telling Saray to find the right answer? Or... Oh! oh. Zavid! Dang, sorry. So now what? Just standing around talking like this isn't going to solve anything. Let's go back to see Maven. Right. He's probably organized his thoughts by now anyway. Good. I don't know what exactly Zavid hinted at there that Lila was upset about, but uh, whatever. Getting closer to the truth behind Heldolf. I'm vaguely starting to get it. There's some connection between Heldolf and the shepherd who came before me. That's news to me. I see. So Lila avoided speaking about it directly by asking Maven the storyteller to help her out. Ouch! Damn it, that's not what you use an umbrella for. <laughs> well, he doesn't even say anything to us, Maven, though. I have no idea how the mind of a lady works. Hm. Ouch! That hurts! <laughs> dang, what an ice queen. <clears throat> Ouch! Dang! She's not playing <laughs> Why did you poke Savid for Lila laughing at you? <laughs> uh -huh. I think our Rose might be in love. And he's back. Get your hopes up. Aww. <laughs> to where Maven awaits. Let's hurry to Logren. I'm sure the old man will be waiting for us there. You've said that so many times now that I'm starting to worry about if he's gone. <laughs> Maven is. Mm -hmm. For sure. I mean, he's Well, I mean, no, we actually run into him quite a lot. Is there any real reason why, though? Why you what? Really need to ask? I guess there's no point in worrying about it. Yep. Like they say, fear is often greater than something something. That's Greater what they say. Danger, you mean. What? <laughs> I've never heard that. I'm pretty sure the expression is fear is often greater than something something. A very... A good. I'm sure Maven will tell us something like extremely story pertinent in a minute here. Probably about Heldolf and Co. Now that we've like seen it, some of it for ourselves. That whole thing of you have to see history with your own eyes. So now that we've seen it, he's probably gonna be like, here's what it all means. <laughs> so I can't wait to see that in next episode. Next video going up on the channel is gonna be... Some more Path of Radiance, where we just had a very long mission that was extremely lucrative. And we're gonna basically just gonna be going back home and unpacking all the loot. <laughs> just <laughs> spilling into base with this, like, with arms full of treasure. And taking stock of what we got, maybe divvying up some skills and bonus XP, and then having some base conversations, and then heading out again. And won't that be just a grand old time? So I hope I will see you around in that, or any other adventure we do tend to have. And for now, I'm gonna be out of here. Thank you so much for coming around. Hopefully I'll see you around. I must be out of here. Peace. <laughs> Don't listen to her, hero. Why would you? You didn't even sign a contract with her. I don't listen to Aubrey because of the contract. I listen to her because she's my friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Jossum, but my friends are more important than a music piece of